group has their own music. The African Americans have their soul and, and R&B. The sunny guys have their Frank Sinatra and Dean Martin. The young guys, where we had our doo-wop. So it was almost like cultures crashing, but it was also music clashing with each other. Things like this don't have Mencken brings heart. Brings heart and he brings uh, uh, an, a boundless supply of tunes. They just come out of him and it's really magical. He writes good music. Tommy Mottola, he had this, this idea, he said, I think it's the music of the neighborhood. I said, oh, bing, got it. The musical does a good job of extending the whole story in a more three-dimensional way. My father was really a jazz fanatic. He loved jazz, Miles Davis and Coleman Hawkins and all these great jazz people. What kind of music would be coming out of the cars and the windows of the tenements and out of the corner stores and the soda shops? Doo-wop and brill building pop and Motown and funk and everything that was happening during that era, all the styles I love and being able to come out with these riches and write words to it. Uh, it an extraordinary experience. Music elevates everything. <laughs>